grade 11 and 12 physics. This is specifically for grade 11 physics, however, it is a definite review for grade 12 physics as well, should you care to uh, review this and look at it. Uh, what I propose to do is I hope that this will be the first in uh, many installments of different uh, skill-based and concept-based reviews for you that you can uh, listen to and uh, watch happen so that you get uh, some of your practice. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to differentiate between uh, position, displacement, and distance because that seems to be a problem for some students. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, let's begin with uh, this fundamental quantity. Composition. It's fundamental because it's not derived from anything else. It's uh, as basic as you can get. And it's similar to the normal quantity. No, I sorry, excuse me. There's no delta in front. It's just the way the The position of an object is the location of something or where something is. relative to, and this is crucial, a given reference point. You, you must define a reference point. Location means nothing unless you refer it back to somewhere, like for example, uh, your house and GPS and all that. If you look at Google Maps and it always wants for wants you to give a to and from, so to and from, you need the location of something relative to somewhere else. The other thing that's important is it happens at an instant in time. So this is instantaneous position. So if I have my traditional number line, and I call this my location, zero meters, the origin, home, whatever you want to call it. This point right here, specifically, we we'll call it D1, is a specific location in space on a line on a plane at an instant in time. There is no time interval, there's no differential, there's no range, it's at a specific exact point in time. Displacement, on the other hand, displacement uh, is symbolized by delta d. The delta being significant there, meaning the difference between positions. So we say the change in one's position. And delta d, when you relate it to position, is equal to d2 minus d1. It's the change. The position. So, as you know, this is change and that's change. So, minus or subtraction is what we're referring to here. That's the fundamental equation for, uh, for our displacement. Sometimes, of course, you'll want to find the sum of displacements. So, what happens when, for example, when you here, let's put this on here, you start here, and you start at this position and you walk to here. Call that D1, call this D0. And then from D1, we'll just do a fairly simple example. From D1, we then turn around and we go back this direction. Well, this is typically west, right? You know that. And to the right is east. Now the question is, how do I find out my net displacement? Well, I need to know my two individual displacements. So this displacement we can call from here to here D1. It's our first change in location. This one we can call D2, from D1 to D2. Maybe again, these are specific positions for some central symbols on there. So, let's give some numbers. Let's call this uh, location 12 meters to the east of home, and let's call this uh, 4 meters west of your home. So, where you ended up was west of your home, so your final answer should have a west. Of Okay, so I'll also use this to sort of help you with the math of how we do it. Delta dr, that's the resulting vector. That will be this uh, put on here. Oops. Right here. That is your resulting vector. Okay? So delta dr is equal to the sum of all your displacements. In this case, we only have two, and it's always the sum. You're adding them up, you add the vectors. And in fact, if you're going to draw a diagram, you've got them head to tail, so this would be delta d 
one, this would be zero for D, two, exhale, and my resultant vector would be here. Because this is where I finally end up. Again, it's always relative to home. So the first displacement, I displace myself 12 meters to the east. And then I went 12 plus 4, 16 meters west. Now, as you're aware of, you cannot directly algebraically add east and west. Therefore, we have to convert one to the other. And we generally convert the lowest one, so we end up with uh, a number bigger than zero, a non-negative zero uh, number. So I'm going to say minus 12 meters to the west plus 16 meters to the west. Now I can go ahead and do my addition. Negative 12 plus 16 gives me positive 4 meters. And my directions now work because they're the same. And I have a 4 meters west, which I certainly should have because that's what I have up here. So they confirm each other. Notice also that my equal signs are all lined up. And this is key right here. Please always finish off your last statement with the uh, symbol that goes with the quantity that you're trying to solve for. You don't have to put it all in between, but you do need to put it in. Notice also that there should be no writing on the right hand side of the page. Really, all your work should be straight down the page on the left. Distance, on the other hand, is something completely different. It's simple as simply D, or sometimes you'll see it as delta D, but please note this is not a vector, so therefore it's not displacement. Distance is simply the sum or total length of the path that one walks, runs, flies, jumps, whatever the case may be. So, to figure out the distance delta D, we simply add up all the paths, or the length of all the paths. And if it's linear, like so, that's pretty simple. You just add them up. If it's off the beaten track, so to speak, so it's like this, then it's a little bit. And so you simply take the total length of the path and add it up could be circumference, could be perimeter, you just add it all up. So hopefully that clarifies the difference between displacement, position, and distance.